how to retain tint percentages when converting a PMS color to a different PMS color in a PDF using Pit Sub Pro. In this movie, we will show you on how to retain your tint percentages when converting a PMS color to a different PMS color using either the Inspector, Global Change, or an Action List. At the end of the movie, you will find a summary of the different methods. First, the Inspector. Select your objects using the Select tool, then go to the Tools tab on the right, plug in Pit Stop Inspect, second icon from the left. Now go to the separations category, remap channel option on the left and select the PMS color you want to remap. Go to the remap tool, drop down and choose pick color. The color library will open. Select the spot color you want to remap to, OK, and then inside the inspector, apply to remap your spot color. Global changes can be found in the Tools tab, plug-in Pit Stop Process. You can also use the shortcut to get to the panel. In this panel, go to Standard, Color, Remap Color. Double-click the Remap Color Global Change to adjust it. Select Channel in the first drop-down, select Spot Color in the second drop-down, and now use the color picker to select our document spot color. You can find this color in the document spot color category. Select it. Now our last step is to select spot color in the last drop down. Again, use the color picker to select the spot color where you want to remap to. Hit run if you directly want to run it on the complete document or hit save to then select the page range. Hit run to run the global change on the document. Action lists can be found in the same category, plugin, pit stop process. You can also use the shortcut to get to this panel. Select the local folder, do a right click or a control click and choose New, New. Fill in a name for your action list and go to the Filter field on the left side. Type in Remap as we need to find the action list called Remap Color. Drag and drop the action to the action field or double click it to add it to the list. Click on the Add button and select channel in the first drop-down, select spot color in the second drop-down and use the color picker to select our document spot color. This one will be inside of the document spot color category. OK and now select spot color in the last drop-down. Again use the color picker to select the spot color where we want the remap to. OK OK and OK to save the action list. Select the page range and hit the run button to run this action list. Here's a summary of the different methods. In the inspector you can see the current color information of your selected object before you remap your spot color. The global change is the fastest way to remap all related objects on the complete document. The action list gives you the opportunity to only remap a certain selection of spot colors. This could be based on a spot color name, spot colors inside or outside a specific page box, and so on.